They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together hooky, the Adams family. Their house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family. Neat. Sweet. Petite. So get a witch's shawl on, a broomstick you can crawl on, we're gonna pay a call on the Adams Family. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Madison and Nico here with your announcements for today, October 25th, 2017. The lunch menu for today is two soft shell beef and cheese tacos with Spanish rice. Attention NHS members, please sign up for a tutoring day at the middle school. The schedule was emailed to you. Any questions, please see Mrs. Jones. Are you looking for a part-time job? Texas Roadhouse is looking for hourly employee roadie workers. Apply at texasroadhouse.com slash careers. Snowy White Dry Cleaners also has a part-time customer service position available. They are looking for friendly, aggressive students who would like to work after school from 3 to 7 and on Saturdays. If interested, apply in person at 2304 West Main Street. If you would like to earn community service hours, volunteers are needed at the Festival of Trees over the holidays this year. This event will be held at Brady's Run Park. This is a great way to work on senior projects and community volunteer hours while also giving back to the community. If you would like to volunteer, stop down at the office and pick up a volunteer sign-up form. This week is National Red Ribbon Week and Just Say No. Red Ribbon Week is an alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs and violence prevention awareness campaign observed annually in October. Drugs are things that alter the way your body normally works and are not good for you. The fact for today is a person dies every 19 minutes from unintentional drug overdose. Taking medication that is prescribed for someone else is just dangerous as taking illegal drugs. Looking to buy a friend, loved one, or family member a Halloween treat but don't know what to get them? The Peace Club will be selling Trick or Treat em Well goodie bags stuffed with candy and Halloween items for only $2. You can't get a better deal than this and all proceeds will be donated to a nonprofit organization. Peace Club members will be selling treat bags to study halls all week and also Wednesday through Friday during both lunches. So write a message to a friend and they will be surprised with a great treat bag on Halloween. All treats will be delivered during study hall on October 31st. There will be no bowling on Tuesday, October 31st due to Halloween. Bowling will resume the following week on Tuesday, November 7th. That's all we have for today, CB. Here is Gabe and Autumn with your sports. Hey CV, it's Gabe and Autumn back with your sports. Boys soccer takes on Mount Pleasant in the Whitfield quarterfinals tonight at Cannon Mac at 8 o'clock. Girls volleyball hosts Amherst tonight at home at 7.30 in the first round of the playoffs tonight. Kara Porter shot a 196 and took fourth place at the state championship for girls golf. The football team takes on Shadyside Academy this Friday at 7. The theme is a pink out. There will be ribbon tattoos, pink bandanas, and bracelets for sale, along with a bake sale that benefits Susan G. Cumming for the cure. That's all for your sports CB. Now here's Preston and Nico with a special segment on your word of the week. Hello CB. Nico and Preston here with your word of the week. What's the word for this week, Nico? The word is embellish. What does that mean? Embellish. To add exciting details to a story. Why don't you be a good friend and give me a sip that's using embellish. Grandma likes to embellish her knitting by hiding secret messages in the pattern. Wow, thanks Nico. These words just keep getting me better every week. Tune in next week for our Wednesday Word of the Week. Hey CV, I'm here with Mark Schmidt. Alright Mark, what's your QPA? Uh, right now it's 107 and a half. What did you score on your SATs? Uh, I got a 1500 super scored. How did you do so well on your SAT? 
Uh, I took the course here and uh, I took a few tests at home before taking it. I feel like you're a student athlete. How do you maintain doing school and sports? Uh, I, I mean, you got to find time for both. Uh, uh, for projects that are due later in the week, you have to find time earlier in the week to do them instead of cramming them until the end. So it's just time management. All right. Do you have any after school plans? Uh, well, today we have a game, and you know that's going to take up all the time because it's at eight and it can't get back. So okay. it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. And what about college? Any? Yeah. Uh, right now I'm looking at Carnegie Mellon and MIT. And what do you want to major in? Uh, chemical engineering. All right. That's it, CV. All right. Thank you, Mark. Parking spot. Here's what happened. So I had spot 75, you see, and in spot 75 was already another car. So when I pulled up this morning and I saw it, I got so mad. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I know. And then I had to go all the way back around the school. What did you do after that? Well, you see, on the other side of the parking spot was spot number one, and the school had already started, so I knew nobody had that spot, so I took it. So then I got out of the car and I started walking around the building and then I realized I forgot my book bag. So I had to go back. But by the time I got around the school, that was such a far run. Oh my gosh, it took forever. Running, running, and 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 So I got into the office, but I was sent to the principal's office because I was late. Okay, Jackie, it's your seventh target to school. <laughs> Saturday detention. Yeah, sorry. Too bad, too sad. See you Saturday. That would be October 14th. Back to class. Thanks. Have a good day. So I got a pass, and I ran to the room. Wow, that's crazy. Parking passes for this school year are officially in. All you need is $10, your driver's license, and a filled out paper provided in the office. The paper provides all the rules and procedures drivers should follow and the information about your car as well as the parent's signature. Parking passes are a privilege and can be taken away if not followed correctly. Please, Please see Mel in the office during academic study hall to get a paper to fill out and select a spot. Please, Please park in your own spot. If you have any questions regarding parking passes, please see Mel.